hello and welcome back to a new video. This one is extra special as I am in my hometown of Copenhagen in Denmark and I'm here with my sister Laura in her apartment. Hi! Mm -hmm. And today we want to make a chocolate shell yogurt cup recipe. Um, and it's not just any recipe, it's actually made using this granola. And maybe you could talk a bit more mm -hmm. about that. So this is Laura's granola and that's my granola company and this is the original version um, that we're about to use for this recipe and I also got uh, a deluxe version and this one is with bananas and dates for to sweeten the granola and then it's like fully plant-based, vegan and made using only wholesome ingredients so it's like oil-free and refined sugar-free and the name of this one is Banana Buzz Almond Crunch. So there's almonds and oats and lots of delicious goodness in this. Today we wanted to make this recipe with like yogurt and then some chocolate shell and then with the granola. So it's all gonna be like banana, chocolatey, yeah. uh, almond butter-ish. This, uh, this granola is made, it's also made with almond butter. Um, so we thought it would be like a really good idea to also mix in some almond butter in the yogurt. Yeah. But we are so excited to show you guys how we will make mm -hmm. this. So hopefully this recipe will give you some inspiration to try for yourself. And if you are interested in this granola, you can buy it on the website that I will link in the description below. And of course, this is only for Denmark for now, so if you live abroad, you have to use another granola, unfortunately, but we just wanted to give some inspiration for a good recipe. And today it's featuring this delicious granola. I think we should just uh, get started on the recipe. Yeah, mm -hmm. sounds good. Okay, so now we have all the ingredients ready. And what are we going to do first? So the first thing we're going to do is to put the yogurt in this little cup. Yeah, so we chose a vanilla yogurt because that's just what we thought could uh, fit well into yeah. the rest of the ingredients. And it's important that the yogurt that you use, vegan or not, that it's uh, quite thick. If you use a yogurt that's a bit thinner, you can freeze it before you put on the chocolate. But it is, it's the best to use a thick yogurt. Should I take on the first layer? My favorite golden spoon. So now we are adding the yogurt as the first layer in this cup. And then we just spread it out evenly. And now we're going to mix in the almond butter in the yogurt. This will make the yogurt even thicker and also add that really nice almond flavor. Mm -hmm. Now we have mixed in the almond butter. Mmm, I love the smell. Wow, it's like really vanilla and almond butter together. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Very good. And now the next step is to add melted dark chocolate on top to create this shell. So, so now it's nicely on top and it doesn't fall into the yogurt because it's a thick one we chose. I really think that this chocolate shell yogurt cup will have the perfect combination of uh, textures. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. How long should it be in the freezer? It depends on how frozen you want the yogurt to be. You could have it in the freezer just until the chocolate has solidified, but you can also just uh, leave it a bit if you like it more frozen. Yeah, I think. Because it doesn't take long to f freeze. Right? Exactly, yeah. That's also what's really nice about this little snack dessert um, thing because you can like uh, make it very quick and you can also like keep it in the freezer or fridge. And now for the most exciting part and the last step of this recipe to top this cup with the, the granola. Yes. Would you like to have the owner to open it? I would. Yeah. <laughs> I always have to smell it because I love the smell of this one. Mm. 
I love the smell. It's like a bit of banana and nuts and mm. stuff. It's really yeah. nice. It's Good almost yeah, like a banana bread also. Yeah, it is. Yeah. My granola is also quite chunky, which is the way I prefer it. Mm -hmm. Same here. Yeah. And I guess I'll just uh, put it on like this. We poured over the granola and now it's ready for the freezer. So it is yogurt with almond butter topped with a good layer of melted dark chocolate and the last layer is of course this delicious granola. So now we will add it into the freezer for about 30 minutes and then we will give it a taste test. I am very excited. Mm. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Now this yogurt cup has been in the freezer for about 30 minutes mm -hmm. and we are ready to give it a taste test. Yes, I'm very excited. Me too. Do you have high expectations? Yes, but I think it's it's a winner. Yeah, I yeah. also think it's like the good. combination is pretty much a winner. Should we try? Yeah, I'll go for it. Yeah, you do that. Okay, so it's a really thick layer of chocolate we made, so it will be very big chunks of uh, chocolate and granola. So I'll take this piece. Okay, let's taste yeah. it. Wow. Mm. The granola on top is really good. Mm. Mm. It's like an ice cream dessert or something. Mm -hmm. Wow. This tastes like ice cream. Mm -hmm. Wow. It really is a dessert. Mm. Yeah, really good. So the yogurt is not uh, frozen or anything yet, it's like just a bit cold. Yeah. But the chocolate layer is frozen and the granola is not really like frozen or anything, it's just like how it was. Yeah, it's so crunchy. Yeah. Yeah. I would like but to it's really have good. some more chocolate. Yeah. It really tastes good, like like an, a dessert or something. Yeah. Mmm. It tastes like an ice cream I've tasted before. Yeah. Is it Magnum or something? Like Magnum, yeah. Yeah. I think it also gives it a nice touch with the almond butter yeah. uh, in the yogurt. Okay, now I have a big piece of chocolate. Wow. <laughs> but the granola is really making it even better. Mm -hmm. And so, wow. Really good. A little mess messy to eat, but mm. worth it. I'm happy we chose to use a quality chocolate. Mm. That also helps. Really good. To make it a bit easier to eat, you can just use a little less chocolate. Because yeah. then the shell would be uh, thinner. Yeah, this was quite a thick layer we put. Yeah. This is perfect for like a snack during the day or a dessert, I would say. Yeah. For me, it would be quite sweet for a breakfast, but it would still be possible, I guess. Mm. Depending on how sweet you like to start the day. Yeah, I would definitely recommend giving it a try. I agree with you. Mm. It's uh, it's sweet for breakfast, but it is really nutritious, so you can eat it as a breakfast yeah. uh, if you like to uh, have something sweet. Sweet and chocolatey and yeah. almond. It would also be nice to make in smaller cups if you have guests over, so they can have like a little sweet ice cream dessert-ish thing, uh, yeah. which is actually quite healthy as a dessert. Mm. I really think it's something everyone will love. I would highly recommend making it. Me too. Very good. And it's actually yeah. pretty fast as well. And if you want, you can also leave it in the freezer for a longer time. So very nice. nice. Thank you for following along. It was so much fun to uh, to create this recipe and mm -hmm. film this video. I'm happy you wanted to join my mm -hmm. video today. Of and course. that we can make this recipe together. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. And I'm together with my sister Laura here in her apartment. <laughs> oh my god. Add it. Now it's been in the edit now it's been. It has been. That's my empty. Now it's been dirty. Yeah. Oh, oh.
Ja, det er det, det er det. Ej. Nej, nej, nej. Ej. High five.